What is up, everybody? Jay Nell here with my UFC Ultimate Fighter Season 18 finale. Let's get into it. The ladies dominate this card. This is the first main card dominated by the ladies. Three ladies fights, two male fights, and they deserve it. If you saw the season, the lady, uh, the ladies totally outperformed the guys in this season of the Ultimate Fighters. Let's get into this event. First off, we start off with two decisions, two lady fights. First decision went in favor of uh, Raquel Pennington over Roxanne Modafferi. She, uh, Raquel actually got better as the fight went on. This was a much better performance from her than her semifinal fight, which she lost to Rokosi. So anyway, she got this decision. She'll probably make it into the UFC. I'm pretty sure of that. Next up, we have uh, Jessamine Duke. She got the decision over Margaret Morgan. And this was a scrappy fight, close, but I believe that Jessamine just landed more shots, landed cleaner shots. There was one moment where she was in danger of being choked out, but she was able to get her head up out of there. It was kind of a weird sideways guillotine sort of headlock situation. I'm pretty sure there's a name for it that I am not uh, saying correctly. <laughs> but she got out of it, and Jessamine Duke got the, got the decision. Now, let's get into the contract winners. First up, the guys. We had David Grant versus Chris Holdsworth. Uh, this was a, a good fight. Lasted, uh, ended in the second round. Rear naked choke. Chris Holdsworth, the winner. The first round went back and forth. I would give it to Chris because of this, the takedown he got at the end, plus he was able to do some ground and pound. However, David Grant was hitting him hard, harder than I expected. So it was a close first round. However, like I said, Chris Holdsworth got the submission in the second round. He got the contract, got the Harley. He is the ultimate fighter for the guys. Next up, we had the ladies. We had the first crowning of the first female ultimate fighter champion. We had Juliana Pena against Jessica Rocosi. This went pretty much exactly how I thought it would. It ended in the first round with one second left. Started going. Uh, you know, Jessica, she's eight, she has eight world titles in boxing. She's the smallest lady there. I knew that Juliana would be bigger and stronger than her, and she was. Juliana is not necessarily a skill, especially in the boxing area. However, she is relentless, and she has a chin, and she's really aggressive. And that's pretty much what happened. She overwhelmed her. Most of this first round was uh, Rakozi defending herself up against the fence, trying to defend the takedown, took her down a couple times, was able to get back up, eventually got her down, got the full mount and was dropping bombs. That girl, you can hear her hit and eventually the ref had to stop it. One second left. It kind of makes you wonder when you let it go on, but you know, the rest are looking at the time. But. So there you go! The first women's ultimate fighter crowned Juliana Pena. She gets the contract, gets the bike, gets in. Congratulations, first lady winner. All right. <laughs> now we have the main event. It was Nate Diaz against Gray Maynard. Three, the first fight, Nate uh, uh, got the submission against uh, Gray Maynard in one of the Ultimate Fighter seasons they were both on. Uh, the second fight was actually in the UFC, and Gray Maynard got the decision. Third fight, all Nate. <laughs> Even I didn't expect this to go this way. I thought it was going to be a battle back and forth, kind of like their last fight. Uh, no. Going back and forth a little bit, first round, this ended about halfway in the first round, Nate Diaz just caught him once and then kept catching him. We're talking clean shot after clean shot. Gray Maynard's hands were completely down to his side. I mean, he's trying to run away, he's trying to move. Eventually he got him up against the fence, and then he really was just teeing off on his head like a bunch of bag. I was surprised the ref actually let him take that many clean shots because his hands were completely down. Eventually the ref did get in between it. Gray Maynard tried to take a step and fell. Okay, like, he was done. Blood coming from the eye. I mean, it was a dominant, dominant victory for Nate Diaz. I think, you know, we're used to his punches and bunches. People think Nate doesn't have any punching power. He was hitting Gray hard. Who do you want to see Nate Diaz fight next? You know that lightweight division is stacked. we got a bunch of lightweight uh, fights coming up. So who do you want to see Nate fight next? Uh, overall thought of this season of the Ultimate Fighter with the first two lady coaches, Misha Tate and Ronda Rousey. I thought it was a great season, actually. I thought it was one of the better seasons of the last few years. Um, again, the ladies outperformed the men. That's probably why I liked it. But um, it was really uh, focused on the fighting and the fighters. There really wasn't the practical joke games because <laughs> Ronda Rousey don't play. Basically, she's not the joking kind, neither is her crew. Um, uh, Brian Carraway, which state's boyfriend, did get into, had some words with one of the members of the coaching staff of Ronda Rousey, where the security had to get in between and kind of stop the fight. Every time Ronda and Misha squared off, Dana had to step right in there, so there was really no room for, like, practical jokes of that nature. Misha tried, 
but it just kind of got shut down really quick because, again, Rhonda's not the joking type. She doesn't like the way she was portrayed in this season. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. She's kind of a hard ass, doesn't play. Her mom was on the show. Kind of see how, why she's so serious to seeing her mom. Again, Mr. Tate was pushing her buttons the whole time. It made for good TV. I don't think any, either woman was portrayed in a uh, particularly bad light. So I liked the season. And I hope there's more ladies and more seasons. Eventually another weight class. Eventually another weight class. All right. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of the Ultimate Fighter finale, what you thought of the season, how you thought the ladies were portrayed, what do you think of the upcoming fight between those two, because they really don't like each other. Who do you think Nate Diaz should fight next? Talk to me. Let me know your thoughts. All right, everyone. Take care. And goodbye.